Welcome back. Before the break, we got a preview of the food festival at Kennywood. But of course, there is so much more going on this summer when the Steel City really comes to life. The editor of Next Pittsburgh, Brian Heslop, joins us to talk about their summer bucket list along with some of their other June content. You had me right at farmers markets. Like I, th <laughs> this is what I look forward to every single summer. Oh yeah. I love farmers markets, and there's so many of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've really exploded. So like we have a big guide to all the farmers markets and. Um, everyone has their favorites uh, to go to. Bellevue has a really one that I really like a lot, and but there's a lot of great farmers markets. I love area. even just popping over to Market Square during it's the lunch hour. You can mm -hmm. see how popular. There's this one food stand that serves lunch up, and the line is around the tent. They're so popular. Um, let's talk about the Big Butler Fair because that's also coming up. Yeah, I'm, it's my personal favorite. I think it's the best county fair. They really blow out all the stops. It's the end of June through the Fourth of July weekend. So much is going on there. It, it's definitely worth putting on your calendar to, to see. And it's to really inexpensive admission, too. So. Fair food. Right. That's, I'm all about fair the fair food. food. And <laughs> I think they're in their like 168th or 8th, uh, yeah, ninth yes. year. They've been it's been going it on for a long time. All right, let's talk a little bit about yoga. I have a lot of friends who are really into this, and I, I'm seeing it everywhere. Yeah, and you were mentioning Market Square, too. There's outdoor yoga there. There's lots of outdoor yoga places going on. You just can go. It's good if you've never been before. You can bring your own mat. You can borrow one that they have there. So there are a lot of places that are having yoga. It, I'm not a big yoga person, but even I can do it. In well, I, like, I like that they're stepping outside of the studio space, and it's just it's just nice to see. I feel like it becomes more inclusive to a whole bunch of new right. people who maybe aren't as intimidated when you're joining a crowd of people who might not be mm -hmm. used to doing it. You can it get too. lost in the crowd. Um, yeah. There's so many different conventions that come to town. I don't know much about anime, but tell us about this anime convention that's happening. Yeah, don't make me try to say it. But uh, <laughs> is it Teco? Yeah, yeah. Teco anime convention? R right. And so this is for all the things my son would love this because he's always been into anime but yeah so people dress up they oh, as their that. favorite characters you can see them around mm -hmm. downtown during that convention uh, you know for everything and, and anime is huge and Netflix has a lot of do. real life imaginings of anime shows and so it is a giant event and it is actually nationwide and brings people here from all over to come to this. I had convention. no idea. There's a whole section uh, in Barnes and Nobles dedicated to anime. <laughs> yeah. I was in there the other yeah. day. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. It's huge. It's um, massive. All right, and let's talk about Veg Fest. Uh, I know they've been voted like best uh, food festival a number of years in yeah, a row. Yeah, it's Alligator Commons Park, mm -hmm. and it is all vegetarian and vegan. Um, and this kind of shows you how expansive that realm can be. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in being introduced to this type of food is a really good way to kind of get your feet wet without really fully committing to buying a full meal and you can learn that like it can be really delicious well and too. it's come so far we've featured them here on the show before and just trying a sampling of some of the food you would never guess and it's just it's just interesting to learn a little bit more about it yeah so. and even if you're not in fully vegan person, it's nice to sometimes mix up your diet and try to say, I'm not, I'm going to go meatless for this. Yeah, at least yeah. for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least for a couple of days. All right, and Lilith is next on your list. Yeah, yeah, that's a really great festival too. Um, it, lots of music uh, and, and events going on. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend that as well. Okay, oh, that's oh, good. Awesome. That's a lot of fun. And uh, is this Zeros? Zeros, yeah. am Zeros. I pronouncing You're right. that Zeros, right? Yeah. Um, it's a home goods store in Dormont. Yeah, it, it's all environmentally friendly products, um, toilet paper, dish towels, they have laundry detergent in buckets. If you don't bring your own container, they lend you one. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah, it, the owner, um, Marty Zeismek, has actually gone to the point now where through his practices, he can go almost two years with filling one garbage bag because he recycles, what? he composts, mm. he is careful with his packaging and, and reuses packaging. And just trying to like set a bar of like what you can do better if you really are being conscientious about what you buy. That is incredible. It's insane. That's uh, yeah. it. That is. <laughs> what an inspiration, he though. See, he does not want to see me dragging my garbage bags out every week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That is All right. so cool. But he was inspired by his mom, who just was doing this kind of thing because she was trying to be economical. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a great, yeah. That's a great idea. I want to know more about him now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can learn more about him and the store. And if you're interested in checking out the summer bucket list as well or any other content, we're going to have a link to Next Pittsburgh on our website, kdka.com slash chalkpittsburgh.